What's up, New World Adventurers, Explorers, and Friends? Today I want to show you how I make a little bit of gold uh, farming dark hide. Of course, you can use this in two steps of the leather train on the way to making prismatic leather. So um, you can use it for infused leather step and also the dark leather step. As you can see right now, um, America Northeast region, um, not very much for sale. Uh, 0.65 to 0.75 gold each, so you can make some pretty good coin from this. Some areas and some of the mobs that will kill can drop up to 100 of them. You always want to use uh, the savory cake food so you can increase your chance at the rare items when skinning so you can get a little extra gold. And uh, play your music to increase your gathering yield and use proficiency boosters if you like. So we'll get right for the first spot and here we go. Another pretty cool spot is down here by the Isle of Zervon, the Shrine of the Lion, all in this area here. And then you can go over here as well to hit these uh, mammoths. But here you're going to be working on these chameleon guys. So, lizards, chameleons, whatever you want to call them. Came to the butt when they disappear, but they're pretty, pretty quick, pretty easy to kill. So, there's a nice little group of them here. And you're going to get around 30 each time. So, best way is just get up close on them so they don't even disappear to start with. But... Watch out for the tongue, the old tongue swipe. But you can get a good bit of these, kill them pretty quick. Then after you kill these, you can head over, like I said, and hit those mammoths. Pretty easy. You can get several thousand an hour doing this. And then, of course, since you can use your uh, horse and fast travel and stuff, that's a lot better, but... These are pretty close, so not much point. So there's tons of lions over here as well. We can hit these guys. And yeah, as you can see, they die really, really fast. <laughs> really, really fast. And you will get tons and tons of dark eyed doing this way. Doesn't seem like a lot, 25 to 30 at a pop, but there are tons of mobs here. So good mob density makes it super, super easy. And with a strong weapon like a uh, axe or a spear probably uh definitely a rapier and kill them super fast so and like i said this other spot here that's in the same general area where the shrine of the lion is you can kill all those guys kill the lions all the way over here and then you get to the trampled steps and you'll kill mammoths and this whole area then you can actually come back up in here and kill a lot of stuff too so but got these mammoths sometimes there's a lot of people fighting these guys because well there used to be because they would use them for the different uh side quests but you can see these uh pretty quick too and they drop i think uh usually around uh let's say probably like 40 or so sometimes a little more but they're really 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 easy to kill so and if you have a ranged weapon you probably gotta kill them before it even gets to you You can get several thousand an hour here too, so another easy place. Then there's also a couple treasure chests, and there's uh, some lizards here, chameleons, whatever you want to call them. And you just run around, circle around this area and get those. So. Super, super easy. Like, the only mobs that were really that tough were the ones that were in the tribunal you know, high mound. Alright, so the first spot I like to head to, this is one of the best spots, as long as you can take on a couple of these mammoths at the same time. So you're going to want to come down here to the the dredged landing in the high mount area, like where you would run your chain. So high mounts rest, fast travel point, or the cave of the full moon. And I like to grab one and bring it out. That way you don't have to. That's pretty easy with the uh, whenever you use one of the stronger, faster attacking weapons. Like rapier is really good. Just make sure you roll out of the way and stuff. Pretty easy. And you can see here from each of these, and this was without proficiency boosters, and I didn't play the song either, just to show you. But you play the song, so right now you got eighty right there. This stuff's gonna die pretty quick, so I love to come in here and kill these, getting eighty to hundred a pop. Uh, 77 that time. 
And then you can also, when you're running here, of course, you can get the different chests and stuff, so which that makes it nice. Definitely makes it nice. And sometimes there'll be a whole bunch of people in here, but it just depends. Hopefully this video helped you so you can find some places to efficiently farm your dark hide and make a little gold. So some of these areas you can make uh, several thousand an hour. Uh, I think you could probably almost make eight to 10,000 an hour in the area, the first area I showed you. And if you do that, I mean, that's some pretty big gold. That's five or 6,000 gold. So, yep. Killed it. Birdie got me. But just a basic throwing hatchet there. So super easy. All right. Hope it helped you guys out. If it did, consider hitting a like and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video. I'm going to do some videos on how to show new and returning players how to make a little bit of gold. So should be interesting for people whenever a console starts. Um, hopefully when that does start, hopefully it's cross-platform. I mean, it may be fresh start, but if they're not cross-platform, this game's pretty much going to be done, at least from the PC side. So I'll see you in the next video, guys.